Hi, this is Manny Hernandez from 2Diabetes.com. Today, I wanted to talk to you about music. Bear with me. Imagine a song that lasts 24 hours. Yes, it's a very long song. 24 hours of continuous music. Now that song will have its loud moments and its quiet moments and everything in between. It'll have different instruments, it'll have different sounds throughout. And at the end of those 24 hours, you will have experienced a number of different things. 24 hour song. Now imagine trying to assimilate that song through a tiny hole that lasts just one second every five hours maybe every six hours so you have one two three four maybe five samples of that 24 hour song that you listen to and imagine trying to experience the exact same thing that you experience listening to that song 24 hours long not the same thing right obviously not a pleasant or particularly artistic experience right why am I talking about songs and music well today I'm talking about songs and music because I'm not happy and I'm not happy because I learned that yet another friend, another person with diabetes had her request for a continuous glucose monitoring device turned down by her insurance company. In this case, it was Kerry Marone from sixuntilme.com. It could have been anybody because it's happening left and right. We're reading about it everywhere on 2Diabetes and other communities on a daily basis. And it's not right. Let me just read to you two paragraphs of the, first off, the very impersonal letter saying, our medical director has determined that the request is denied, was deemed as not medically necessary. Now, let me sh read to you two paragraphs from her uh, um, appeal letter. A Dexcom continuous glucose monitoring system costs $800. The sensors cost $240 for a pack of four. Over the course of a year, a year's non-daily use, the Dexcom system will cost approximately $1,800. Compare that to the cost of laser surgery to treat diabetic retinopathy or the cost of kidney dialysis or transplant, or the cost of daily medications to treat high blood pressure, cholesterol elevation, or kidney disease, or the cost of amputation, as well as any attendant cost for rehabilitation and lifestyle adjustment. Please be advised that keeping me healthy now will save your company from greater expense later. Preventative measures taken at the present will mitigate the overall financial financial loss your company would otherwise incur in the future. Kerry gets it. Kerry's clear. I mean, this is a business decision. This is not a medical decision. You know, the fact that the medical director is saying it's n not medically required, it's not financially required, is what it is. And that's what's sad, because it is not even a smart decision on their part. To turn down, just like Kerry, thousands of other people with diabetes who could benefit from technologies such as this one that would allow them to monitor their blood glucose continuously throughout the day and avoid lows that could occur during the night while they are asleep and highs that none of us want or should be having so as to extend our life you know it, it doesn't make any sense it, it doesn't make any medical sense if you ask me to be denying such opportunity for treatment and improvement so this is a call 
This is a call for all of us to start doing things differently. Hopefully, in the next weeks and months, we will be able to start like you know raising our voices and raising awareness about this because this is completely wrong. It is absolutely wrong for insurance companies to be declining this kind of device. I'm sorry today's podcast did not end in such a positive mood, but uh, all I can say is like you know, uh, it's it's just not a, a a positive piece of news. So I'm wearing my Red Sox hat, supporting you, Carrie. And uh, this is not just for Carrie. This is really for all the people with diabetes who have gone through this same experience. And I invite you to share your experience where this video gets posted and to post this video on your blogs and share it with other people because these are stories that have to be said, that have to be told. Goodbye, everybody. See you around. And I have to say, if you haven't joined, make sure to join 2diabetes.com. All right? Take care.